since March 2017, you have a dramatic change in jihadist structure in the uh, in the, the Sahel, with the fusion of the all jihadist groups of Al Qaeda obedience, all the groups obedient to Al Qaeda. Uh, Al Qaeda and Islamic Maghreb has fused with fusion with um, Ansar Din, with Morabiton, and the group of Ahmadu Kufa, so which gives today the, um, the the group for the protection of the Islam and the Muslims, which is and this group has pledged allegiance to Jogdel, who was the leader of Acme in Algeria, and as well as Awahi. That's the first thing. That's a really a radical change in the sense that so far we had those group, different groups acting on cooperation with each other, but at the same time being autonomous and independent. Now the fusion it's a dramatic change dramatic shift in the uh, in the Sahelian structure at the same time we do have the existence the emergence of since 2015 of an Islamic uh, Islamic State branch in, uh, in the Sahel which is called uh, the Islamic State of the Grand Sahara so these are the two main groups that we have currently in the Sahel Qaeda and Islamic Maghreb and uh, the new group is a lasting threat in the sense that all the conditions that existed before the creation, before the French intervention, are still uh, prevalent in the Sahel. Weak state, corruption, uh, poverty, uh, lack of education system, uh, weak state, really weak and fair set in some cases. So to that extent, the uh, the conditions, the very conditions that have uh, that have led to the creation and the establishment of those jihadist groups in since the, mid uh, the early 2000s are basically still present. The French intervention in 2013 did not solve the problem at all, and in some cases some consider that made it worse. So Al-Qaeda and the Islamic Maghreb jihadi group in Al-Qaeda are a lasting threat that most likely to last for a while, unless those main issues, and again it's really the weakness of the state with all, with all that means, are solved problems again of education, problems of poverty, economy, and so on. It's, it's a uh, difficult question because we don't know. If you look at the, 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 the jihadist groups in the Middle East, from Al-Qaeda, uh, billion groups versus the Daesh, we had extremely violent fightings between those uh, two, groups, uh, two groups. In North Africa, we observe that the dynamics are extremely different in the sense that if we set aside Libya, in Libya we did have fightings between groups that are obedient to Al-Qaeda versus Daesh, but if we set this aside, there was no fighting. There was never fighting between Islamic State gr affiliated groups and uh, and uh, Al Qaeda affiliated groups, except once in Gao in 2015 or 16. Now, that's one. So little, almost no fighting. Second element is that groups that are obedient to Daesh come from divisions within Al Qaeda. It's uh, within Al Qaeda affiliated groups. It's like katibats or uh, uh, brigades that were obedient once to Al Qaeda split from Al-Qaeda, pledged, pledged allegiance to Daesh and fought under the banner of Daesh. Now, the thing is this, these people knew each other, they're close to each other, they used to fight together, they uh, they have no, uh, they didn't have any really sources of competition in terms of on the ground, which is, means the following thing. It's possible, it's not one of the possibilities, it's possible that the two groups will merge again. That's one of the options. Either they will continue each one their separate ways or there's some now that Al-Qaeda groups and uh, the Islamic State groups will come back. Now, the Islamic State in the Sahel, one of the things is also that it's extremely weak. We're talking about a few, uh, like 70 men, maybe a little bit more than that. Whereas we're talking about several hundreds, some even thousands of fighters still obedient to Al-Qaeda. Having said so, having said so, the Islamic State may get some support from the uh, the Islamic State fighters coming down from Libya, and join and try and uh, joining them in the Sahel. So that's one of the things. In which case, it will reinforce. If it happens, it will reinforce the uh, Islamic State in, in the Sahel, and then this possibility will be less likely. But again. Conflict between Islamic State and ACME on the jihadist groups in uh, affiliated with Al Qaeda in the Sahel remain for the time being unlikely. We're, we're witnessing more like a sort of division of labor, if I may say so, in the geographic area. And again, Islamic State at the moment we speak is too weak to even consider the confronting Al Qaeda affiliated groups.